Hello, and welcome to Global Data Themes Instant Insights. At Global Data, we define a theme as something that keeps a CEO awake at night, as businesses that invest in important themes will succeed, and those that don't will fail. Hello, and welcome to Instant Insights. I'm Emma Taylor, and today I'll be talking to insurance analyst Ben Carey Evans from Global Data about the investment in the insure tech sector drying up, leading to job losses as tough economic conditions hit hard. Hi, Ben. Thank you for joining me today. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you for having me, Emma. Oh, it's a pleasure. So, Ben, how much has this investment fallen since 2020? So the headline data that we have is that in short, uh, global investments uh, into InsureTech fell by 79.6% in 2021. And the, the figure that we have for 2022 uh, at the moment shows that it's, it's unlikely to, to surpass that or to show any growth in 2022. Um, this is according to our, our Global Data Deals database, which tracks the value of, of deals to, to any theme, any sort of completed merger or acquisition to any theme on, an, on a sort of annual basis uh, and month, tracks it month by month as well. So the figure for, for 2022 is at, at the end of July, so seven months in, it's 49.5% of the 2021 figure. So that the 2021 figure already saw a 79.6% decline. Uh, and we anticipate that the overall figure of 2022 in terms of investment uh, is going to be even smaller again. Wow, yeah, that is just such a sharp decline. What are the direct implications of this? So I think one of the, one of the largest implications is going to be job cuts uh, among people working for, for insure techs and, and sort of startups coming up within, within the industry. Uh, we've already seen Zego, which is one of the sort of foremost startup insurance, insurance startups in the UK, um, having to cut 17% of its staff in July. And then on the other hand, we've seen a company, uh, Honcho, which was a reverse, reverse comparison site, which sort of offered consumers having insurers bid for their motor insurance policy. So uh, in theory, that was driven by value, but that also went, went bust this year. So... I think we're going to see job cuts within the industry. And then I think we're also going to see maybe a lack of a sort of reduced choice for consumers. Um, we had seen sort of you know, insure techs come up in, in lots of different categories in the last couple of years, which had provided you know, consumers with a bit more choice, perhaps, uh, and a bit of innovation in the industry. And I think as investment dips and, and these tough economic uh, climate that we're in now, I think we're going to see slight reduction in that choice and innovation for, 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 the, time, for the short time anyway. Yes, in times like these, people are prioritising stability and security over growth and innovation. Is that why this uh, investment is drying up? Is it, a, is it a result of the cost of living crisis? I think it is, yeah. I think that the, the leading reason is, is still the pandemic. I think, as you can see in, from, from the data that I showed you, that 2021 um, investment took a significant hit. Uh, so I think that was probably a direct, direct result of sort of lockdowns in 2020 um, and, and a cautious investing environment in, 20, in 2021. Uh, and as we're coming in through to 2022 now, you'd expect to sort of bounce back in recovery from COVID, but it looks like that's not happening. And I think, as you say, I the cost of living crisis is um, is the, the leading reason behind that. And it's going to be an extremely difficult time to to set up a business uh, or to try and launch your startup. So I think people might try and avoid that or just general sort of confidence in, in business and, and starting up is a bit lower. So it's going to be harder to attract um, attract investment. Consumers are more likely to turn to, to established brands. I think if you look at, where insurance is coming through, you know, even in uh, sort of motor and home insurance are lines where claims payouts can be quite quite high, quite significant, and extremely important to consumers. So we're going to look to brands like you know AXA and Aviva that have that have got records of, of surviving for, for many years and, and paying out on those claims, uh, and where they may have gone for insure tax before potentially for, for a bit of value or, or some innovation that they were interested in. These insurers might only have two or three a record of two or three years of surviving, uh, and consumers may look at them and think, oh well. If, if the economy does continue to struggle and then a couple, of, a couple of months down the line, I have a significant uh, claims payout. Are they going to be able to, to pay that money to me? Are they going to be able to survive um, the current climate? So I think that's one thing that's going to um, going to count against in short techs at sort of the cost of living and, and sort of tough economic times as we're in at the moment. And, and what do you think these insure tech companies can do to combat this decline in investment and to regain consumer confidence? Yeah, it's not going to be easy for them. But I think, you know, as in with most businesses at the moment, they've they've really got to concentrate on value. I think, you know, obviously we're seeing um, energy prices get sore and, and and wages remaining quite stagnant. So consumers basically just have le- less disposable income, and that's just going to get worse throughout throughout the winter. Um, so they've just got to prioritise value. We've seen things in the motor insurance specifically, you know, pay as you drive or pay how you drive, sort of you know, uh, detailed telematics policies where 
consumers can, if they think they're going to drive under sort of 8,000 miles a year, uh, will end up paying less. And if there's a month where the you know, energy bills are particularly high, so January, February, they can try and avoid driving as much as possible and, and save money there. And maybe you know, some consumers will just take more risk in, in certain months and, and end up saving money in premiums there. Um, so I think it's just all about flexible uh, insurance and, and on-demand insurance, that, which gives consumers some control in, into what they pay and allowing them to stop it for, for a week or a month in some lines. Or, uh, and yeah, and they've just got to hope that if they, if they offer cheaper policies and more flexible policies, and that sort of um, the trust of established, that will outweigh the sort of trust of established brands, mm. uh, perhaps are offering that same level of innovation. Right, yeah. So value, flexibility and consumer more consumer control are going to be top priorities. Well, thank you so much, Ben, for those instant insights. Thanks for listening and from us in Thematic Intelligence. See you next time.